Welcome, my name is Eric, I'm the spokesperson for the Roof Hospital. Today's our final day on this tile project out once again in Mackenzie Town. Uh, so I thought we'd just talk a little bit about how tiles go on and, and the advantages and uh, also things to be aware of when looking at a tile roof installation. Uh, so here is a piece of the lower roof that uh, we're just finishing up right now. And uh, as I move the camera over, you'll see the strapping that we've used to uh, lay the tiles onto. So starting from the bottom up, I thought we'd go through uh, our standard uh, leak barrier protection, just like on, on any other roof, uh, protecting the eaves trough from the, uh, or two feet up from the eaves trough. Uh, the saw is going in the background here. Uh, this will protect our uh, eaves trough area from ice and water buildup. Uh, on top of the leak barrier protection, we put this, uh, uh, first thing we put on is this counter strapping going uh, vertically with the roof line. Uh, this has to be installed right on top of the trusses in order to get the best support in order to uh, um, get, uh, get an evenly spaced out line in between. Um, so this is the first thing we put on is our counter strapping. Then on top of that counter strapping, which is just a 3 8 OSB bore, we put on our, our range strapping, uh, which is a 1 by 4 plywood. Um, the strapping here, you can see uh, the tiles actually lock into place behind the strapping. You can see that lug right here uh, actually locks behind the strapping and holds it in place. Of course, we have to nail uh, the first uh, two rows on the uh, on the tiles, but after the first two rows, we don't have to nail every single tile. Then we just nail every, every second row. Um, so that's the strapping. Now, on top of the uh, counter strapping, we install this uh, vented eaves, and you can see here the eaves is, this vented eave goes up and down and, and molds with the shape of the tile. So when the tile gets placed on top, um, it forms a seamless. Uh, uh, it, it covers up all the seams so that no vermin, uh, such as squirrels or birds, can get in. Uh, you can also see the holes that are perforated in here. Uh, this allows an airflow to flow up through the vented eaves. Uh, in between the space that's left here between the strapping and the counter strapping all the way out to the top where it, uh, where it exhausts to the top of the roof uh, which is really good because now you have a full uh, layer of ventilation in between the tile and the roof deck and then of course at the top there's a uh, uh, once we're finished installing the tiles there's a space for the, uh, uh, the air to come out as well so this over here is our channel flashing, which of course just goes over top of the old flashing. This is a, a roof replacement project, so we install this over top um, uh, of the old flashings, and then if we just go up a little higher, you see that the tiles just basically go on over top of that channel flashing all the way up. So um, here's a little snapshot of our, this is a western sand color uh, by Unicrete Concrete Tiles down in uh, in Calgary. Of course they are concrete, they're not clay like most people think. Um, the clay out in Calgary here, uh, of course, just uh, breaks and uh, uh, during the, the freezing and thawings of the, uh, the pretty harsh winters that we can get. So it's all concrete now uh, in order to prevent that, that crackage that occurs with the, uh, with the clay. So you, know, you can see this, uh, just uh, some of the, cap, the ridge cap tiles that we put onto the roof. Um, you know, there's a lot that goes into this type of a project. Um, it takes a lot more time, uh, a lot more work. Um, usually costs uh, about just about three times as much as your standard asphalt roof, and that's just due to the extra the labor that's involved and the extra cost of the materials. Of course, concrete tiles do cost more up front, but what's important to note is that they actually cost less in the long run. Uh, the concrete roof tile system lasts a lot longer than any other roof system as, uh, as far as the uh, scientific testing goes, and of course they have been around for 400 years in Europe. So when you look at the long run, uh, the concrete tile system can be the most cost efficient if you're looking, uh, you know, 50 to 80 years down the road. So this is just, uh, we're just about done here on this project. And, um, you know, we're, we're, we're looking forward to being all, all wrapped up. Um, and we're just about done and, uh, and this is your concrete tile roof. So it looks, looks great. And, uh, you know, it's not for everyone. It's, uh, like I said, it costs more up front. It has a specific type of a look and, uh, and, and it takes a specific type of a, um, the person to appreciate that. So, anyways, this is uh, it for now on the concrete tile roof system. My name is Eric, and I'm signing out for uh, this edition of uh, Rooftop uh, Video Sticks with the Roof Hospital. So, remember to be proactive and let us help.